intersex people in Germany can now legally identify themselves as a third gender under a new law adopted in December. People who do not fit the biological definition of male or female can now choose the category diverse on official documents. Those choosing B option will need a doctor's certificate to register. Intersex people are born with both male and female sex characteristics, which can appear at birth or later in life. Other countries have approved laws in recent years to help recognize intersex people. Austria's constitutional court made a similar ruling to Germany in June, while Australia, New Zealand, Malta, India and Canada have all passed measures to redress issues facing intersex citizens. The United Nations says up to 1.7% of the world's population are born with intersex traits about the same number of people with red hair. This is separate from a person's gender identity or sexual orientation, but many face stigma, legal discrimination, or even forced surgery. Because of these characteristics, Germany previously allowed intersex people to opt out of choosing either male or female as a gender in 2013. But in 2017, the country's top court ruled it was discrimination to deny people of gender after a person registered as female had a chromosome test confirming they were not a sex. Germany's parliament approved the law change last month to come into effect on 1 January. BBC Europe regional editor Danny Eberhardt says some people believe it is a step too far, while gender activists think the need for a doctor's certificate will make proof harder for intersex people without physical characteristics. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imlil in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the interior ministry statement said. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco, with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imlil in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The interior ministry statement said, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Mann, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to they can get a 20% discount at a board in Beijing. See in Beijing, bring a who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS. Co-QXL19YPQLPIC Twitter Com Soccer Love End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, 
Manpad Shenzhen, based and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, alleged misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat, and a businessman have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might interview in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly interview if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for any other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christy Freeland said, a poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly. After he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry, Chair must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence of the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23rd, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the Mother of eponymous dear character Bambi, the month's long investigation, spanning several states, led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry, according to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader. While the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Tandy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jenner received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilty to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a one to zero day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said, 
it would make the nine dollars. Farted, sixty-five yuan. Ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world." Who's part who away success and bliss? The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory.